All right, welcome to this video. We are on Arch Linux. Beautiful system, I must say. I have been rolling since quite a while, since the January the 2nd, 2020. So that's a whole year and a month. So it's that easy. Don't let anybody tell you that you can, you know, Arch Linux breaks or anything like that. Take a look at these, these jumps I make. January the 2nd and then January the 4th, 9, January 30, then March. Two months ahead, May, June, July, August, no September, October, December, no November. So, I mean, you just jump and keep rolling. That's the idea of Arch Linux. We've done, in the previous video, we've, we got in the keys and the mirror lists of Arch Linux and Celtic. I'm now ready to do the project of Arch Linux Calamaris installer. And that's where we start on the website ALCI here in articlinksiso.com. We clone something and then we go for right mouse click maybe on the desktop. Open with Delphin. Let's make you side by side. Open terminal. And then we do Ctrl Shift V. Git clone. If Git is not installed, sudo pacman minus S git then oh my god i can do anything installation scripts is where we end so we can open that up already and i'm gonna read down download everything so 13 means i'm gonna get rid of all the packages i have in the var cache and re-download them again so no errors will occur then what can i do what will i do i can do just about anything now the pacman.conf, the concept of the project is keep as close to Arch Linux ISO. That's how it is by default. By default, it's just Arch. Done. Primary goal achieved. Secondary goal, what if I already included Xorg? What if I already included light dm or a desktop so the only thing i need to do is enable light dm when i boot up and then reboot again that's it hmm. right anything is possible and it's all explained also on the website so if you go if this is where you clone it we have made an extensive uh, long list oops uh, I want to go here long list of, of um, readme the idea of a readme is that you read it so check it out once time once you through it it's all it all makes sense okay logical that's logic this is logic build process and then installation process what do you do after installing and this is where we are we are the arch Linux users I've done it this one, this time another time than, than, than what's suggested here. Here it suggests go download our packages because basically the key ring is here and the middle list is here. But now our article Linux mirrors was there already so we just could type sudo pacman minus s. So that's also easy. It's so lots of ways as long as you know where the source is. Here is another way to find the key ring in the mirror list from us. But this is why I was going here, right? The tips as well. Uh, so have a look. All right. We still need to do, have some imagination. This is a standard Pacman. Yes, one click and it opens. Do I have melt installed? Control T. So you don't Pacman minus S melt. No. Now it is. All right, give me melt. So, super space bar. Melt. I come on. Melt. Okay, I've got myself a melt. Why am I doing this? There are different packages here and different Pacman configs. It all matters what you want to put on the ISO. So this is a standard one. Um, 
standardpacman.conf. This is a standard one. If you compare these two, file comparison, if you take that one, oh, I missed that one, cancel. If you take that one, if you take that one, compare, then the only difference is the multilip. That's true. The multilip is not activated in the no extra. In the standard Pacman, it is activated. Okay. What else? This is the one we're going to use. Pacman.conf is the one we're going to use. What if you say, okay, this Arch Linux, no, not my thing. And then you want maybe the Celtic Pacman. You say, okay, I want Multilip, yes, no, it's up to you. But I want to add the Chaotic middle list. Then it's now added to Pacman.conf. Oops, wrong file. Control Z, it works. Control Z. This is the one where it's going to, right? So chaotic pacman.conf and pacman.conf. I want to add the chaotic mirror list. Now I can add packages from that repo. If, of course, if you have the keys, if you have the pacman mirror list. But we've done that already. That's that's in the past now. Now we're gonna build. So okay, fine. We've decided not to install Arclinux. You can install both of them. Okay, reload my friend. Let's try to do that again. Oh, it's not going to work like that. New comparison. What if I wanted to do this? Click. Voila. Voila. Compare. So this is the only difference. If you want to have Arcanlex, then you need to click the button here. And it's there and you can ask the Arcanlex wallpapers, for example. Right? Any of our packages can go on your ISO then. But let's assume, right? We don't want to have any anything Arclex on our system. Okay, then we have um, done enough for the pacman.conf. Cool. Now, if this is your thing, and you want to have this particular pacman.conf also on the future system, then you need to do a Control A here, Control C and go to your future system. This is your future system. And this is your future pacman.conf. Delete everything and copy paste everything in. And now I have the chaotic mirror list here. And I will do save. So both pacman.conf are now the same. The one at the top and the one in Arch ISO. So this is done. We've decided to go for that. Packages. That's the next thing. This one or the other one. So let's go for packages to the left again. And here is one example. Example packages. I could decide to make an ISO that includes already Xorg. That includes already Xorg apps. That is not going to include LightDM. And it's going to include SDDM. Because I want to have a plasma again. Okay, cool. You go down. No need for network manager. Base development. Yeah, why not? Linux headers. Maybe. Decide, right? No XFCE. Why not? Plasma meta. And of course, there's lots of other things you might want to add, but it's just an, an example, right? You don't want to have anything with Vertical Linux. So you keep everything like it is. Oh, but you do want to have the chaotic mirror list. You do want to have the chaotic keyring. And as a test, we're going to install something from that particular mirror. Okay. That has been our decision. Xorg, SDM, Plasma Meta. We could add a lot of other stuff to Plasma, I know. No Arclinex stuff. Celtic, yes, and a package to test it. And that's it. Save. Now, if you really want to have <laughs> no keys from Arclinux, then there is a video separately for it. Then you go inside the systemd, system, pacman init service, because this is, of course, after all, yeah, an Arclinux project. So we populate 
the Pac-Man keys with our own. So if you don't want that and never going to install it, you don't need these six keys we've deleted in the beginning. That's that. And then we're done. Now we're totally done. And we build it. And if there are no errors, then we uh, didn't forget anything. Then the keys are in, mirrors are in, everything is in, and there it goes. Building. I guess it's time to pause the video here. And we do have a challenge. Import PGP key. Johannes Lutberg. So it has nothing to do with our project. And the Mise signature, Lutberg, and so on. Unknown trust. What's all that? So you see the errors at um, the end, more or less, right? So, first reflex I have with keys is sudo pacman minus s arch linux keyring. That's the first thing I do. Let's see if anything reveals itself. I'm just gonna not not do number 30 with 30 means download everything again right so i'm gonna go for number 40 which says hey let's use the packages we just downloaded and try to build it which is now going to be much faster let's see if something has changed i don't think so don't uh, believe anything has changed but that's the first step so you see already the the repo is there of chaotic is in there so all the packages are here but it's the face this is this the yeah the checking of the packages face and if that goes wrong yeah you need to solve that first plasma is a long uh, long, uh, long list of packages i think around 400 packages more or less i think now and here we go here we go here we go here we go well cha I wouldn't have thought that would have worked, but it's Arch Linux gearing. So the first rule of thumb is applied and works. Again, pausing the video. That's quite be quite okay, right? It's 1.4 gigabyte to have a Xorg SDM Plasma Meta. And where is it? Super shift return she keyboard shortcuts are working up because I programmed them in <laughs> I use them all the time home Where is it ALC out? This is the one we've just built and next video. We're going to test it out in VirtualBox